So how do I quickly know where I am in my song? Well, wouldn't it be great if you could just go to the second chorus or the bridge of your song without spending time trying to find it? Well, just as we named our tracks so that we could quickly and easily see what audio was on each track, we can also label the timeline with markers and regions so that we can label the sections of our song. So we're going to label each section of our song so we can quickly navigate to any point in the song as we progress through the project. And let's start with the intro. I'm going to zoom in by just using the scroll wheel. My playhead I hear see is right at the beginning of the song. So I'm just going to scroll in, zoom in with the scroll wheel. Now that we're zoomed in a little closer, I'm going to make a selection in the timeline here. It's going to be our intro. Now, I'm not, I don't know if this is right. I think this is too soon. I think it, we, we, we left two bars of space at the beginning of the song. So I actually know that it's going to start here on bar three. You can make sure of that by just playing and listening. Yeah, so we start on bar three. Let's see how far it goes. Okay, so the verse one starts right here on bar number seven. So I'm going to extend this to exactly four bars in length. I know that actually because of the selection is highlighted up here in the right hand side of the transport bar tells us our start time, the end time, and the length. That can be very handy. Now that we have the intro selected, we're going to double click in the region marker manager in the lower right of the screen. That's this area down here. So let's double click. A window will pop up asking us to name the region and uh, we'll just, uh, we'll call this intro. Okay, now we can see here in the top of the timeline that we have this gray bar that says the intro is from here to here. That seems pretty handy. We're going to do the exact same thing with the first verse. Now we know it starts on bar seven. Maybe we want to listen to see how long it is. I'm just going to hit play. We're just going to listen through. In your head, it's a shame you found again the things you thought always stay don't stay the same come what okay so it goes right to here so it goes to bar 15 so again i'm just going to make a selection in the timeline i started on the right you can start on the right or the left drag this over right to bar 7 and again, we can see we've got from bar seven to bar 15, which is an eight bar section that is highlighted. So when we have that section highlighted, we can double click again in the region marker manager, brings up this window where we can name that region. We're going to call this verse one. There we go. So now we're starting to have a list. We have a list down here in the region marker manager, and then also on the top of the timeline, we also see these regions highlighted for us. I'll go through the rest of the song until all the selections have been labeled in the region marker manager. Okay, now I've completed labeling all the parts of the song. And one of the really cool things about this is that we can easily jump around from part to part. So if I just hit play by hitting space bar, if I want to go to verse one, I can click on it. Verse 3. So it's very easy and quick to jump around the song wherever you need to go. You can just do that all here in the Region Marker Manager. And one last thing that would make this even better is being able to color code it. And we can do that. I want to make all my verses purple. So holding Control on Windows or Command on a Mac, I'm going to click on all the regions I'd like to be purple. In this case, the verses. Then I just need to click on one of the boxes to the left of any one of these. Click once. This window will look different on a Mac versus a, a Windows machine, but you can choose whatever color you want. I'm just going to choose this purple right here. Click OK. And now my verses are purple. And the same thing goes for these markers up here in the timeline. Now I can do the same thing for the choruses and the solos and 
Well, I guess we don't really have a bridge in the song, so we can just go through and, uh, and mark all of these up. I'm going to do that right now. Now, at a glance, we can quickly see wherever we are in the project by just quickly looking up at the timeline and also using the Region Marker Manager to jump to the sections we want to be at.